Amerikës në prezentim mineralës, sot kam të nëci që ta prezentoj para jush profesorin Qamil Haji Besiri, cili ka qenë profesor për një kodë gjatë në departament, antar i ashakut edhe i cili do të në thletë për angjesht shape theory via pro category. So I have the pleasure and privilege to introduce to you Professor Chamil Haji Besiri, who has been a member of our department for a long time, who is a member of the Academy of Sciences of Kosovo, and who will uh, speak about the uh, shape theory via pro categories. So, uh, uh, Professor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome in this presentation. The aim of this talk will be the introduction to shape theory through the pro-categories. As you may have seen in the abstract, the shape category is a branch of topology that is devoted to study of global properties of topological spaces. The shape theory is modification of homotopy theory for spaces with bad local behaviors. In this presentation, we'll cover the following items. Uh, intro, a short introduction from geometry to shape theory. What is a pro-category? Abstract shape, the shape category for pair of categories TP, shape functor, topological shape, and the end shape of compact Hausdorff spaces. Introduction from geometry to shape theory. Objects, in this case triangles in figure one, are congruent. Since congruent figures in geometry are considered as the, of the same top, uh, geometric type, we can say that these objects are of the same geometric type. Objects in figure two are homeomorphic. That is, they are of the same topological type, but are not of the same geometric type. Objects in figure three, the circle and the disc without hole in interior, its interior, are of the same homotopy type, but they are not homeomorphic, that is, are not of the same topological mm -hmm. type. And push out towards the rows, we can get to the circle, the boundary of the this uh, disk. So they, these two figures are of the same homotopy type, but they are not of the same topological type. The Objects in this figure, circle and so-called Warshaw circle, which consists of the closure of graph sine p over pi over x in interval 0, 1, and the arc, which has only two common points with this graph, points points zero, zero and one, zero in X ox axis. These two figures are of the same shape, but are not of the same homotopy type because this Warshaw circle in each point of segment minus one, one in 
epsilon ox are not locally connected. Since uh, circle is connected and locally connected also. The Warshaw shield. So what does mean that they have the same shape is the question that we will explain in this talk. Let us begin. What is a pro category? A pro order set lambda with binary relation less or equal is a set lambda together with a binary relation, which is reflexive and transitive, which does mean that for, for every lambda in lambda, lambda is less or equal lambda. And if lambda is less or equal lambda prime and lambda prime is less or equal lambda two prime, then lambda is less or equal to lambda two prime. This is transitivity. If in addition, this relation is anti-symmetric, which does mean that if lambda is less or equal lambda prime and lambda prime is less or equal lambda, then lambda is equal to lambda prime. Then we say that lambda is an ordered set. A directed set is a pro-ordered set such that for every two elements, lambda one, lambda two, there is one third element lambda, which is greater than these two elements. A pro order set lambda prime relation prime is called a pro order subset of pro order set lambda with relation less or equal. If lambda prime is a subset of lambda and lambda relation prime is less or equal prime lambda prime follows that lambda is less or equal lambda prime. Notice that we don't not require the converse that lambda is equal lambda prime follows lambda less or equal prime lambda prime. If it does, we write lambda prime less or equal without prime is instead of lambda prime relation prime. We say that lambda prime, this relation prime is a cofinal subset of lambda provided for every lambda in lambda, there is a lambda prime in subset lambda prime, which is greater than lambda. Notice, notice that if lambda is directed and lambda prime cofinal subset, then also lambda prime is a directed. What is a inf category for given category C? Let C be an arbit arbitrary category, an inverse system X, X lambda P lambda lambda prime lambda consists of directed set lambda, which is called an index set of X of an object X lambda from C for each lambda in lambda and of morphisms P lambda lambda prime from X lambda prime X lambda. These are morphisms from category C for each pair lambda less or equal lambda prime. P lambda lambda prime are called bolding morphisms of inverse system X. Moreover, one refers that P lambda lambda is identity morphism in C from X lambda to X lambda, and that when lambda is less or equal lambda prime and lambda prime less or equal lambda is gone, then composition P lambda lambda prime, P lambda prime lambda is gone is equal to P lambda lambda is gone. Picturally, the inverse system is shown in this manner. If lambda is equal to set of natural lambda numbers with usually order, then X, X and P and M, N is called inverse sequence. A map of inverse systems, F nu phi from inverse 
system x to inverse system epsilon epsilon mu q mu mu prime m consists of function phi from index set m of system epsilon to index set lambda and morphisms phi mu from x phi mu to epsilon mu in say these these are morphisms in category c one for each me mu from mu such that whenever mu is less or equal mu prime one there is a lambda in lambda which is greater of few mu and few mu, few mu prime for which holds this equality one this existence of lambda which is greater of phi mu phi mu prime is granted by directedness of set lambda index set lambda uh, this equation ni told us that this diagram this diagram this pentagram is in category c new prime n here n is not set of natural number but is direct at set one and if g new c from y to z is another map of systems we define a composition g new c composite f mu v and denote this composition as ha nu he from x to z as follows this function he is composition of functions p and p this composition and then h nu is a composition of g nu f c nu from x he nu which is equal x phi c nu to epsilon c nu and g nu sent this to z nu this composition the composition of this comp is indeed a map of systems for loves with this commutative diagram let us explain a little this lower pentagon is it is commutative by definition of map of systems g the two middle pentagrams are commutative by definition of map of systems f now here have x lambda and x lambda prime by directedness of set lambda there is a lambda gone which is greater than these two indexes such that all these triangles in top are commutative for commutativity of this three pentagrams and these triangles in top follows the commutativity of this pentagram ha nu p lambda he nu p lambda is gone x he nu prime he nu prime this outer pentagram and this does mean that this composition is a morphism of pro categories in above sense of systems is associative because the functions of index sets are associative and this morphisms also are associative the identity map of systems is def defined by 
identity morphisms of X lambda for each X lambda and of identity function of index set lambda. This are identity morphisms in C and I said this a function, identity function. Since P lambda lambda, the previous diagram one in this case is also commutative, which does mean that P lambda lambda prime one X lambda prime is P lambda lambda prime and composition one X lambda P lambda lambda prime. Also holds the, this two equations, which told us that the composition in the right with identity morphisms and in the left with identity morphism gives the same morphism F mu. We have those obtained, all these facts told us that we give a category in C of inverse systems or projective systems of category C, which all objects are inverse systems in C and whose morphisms are morphisms of inverse systems defined above. Now we define an equivalence relation tilde in the set in C X, Y of all morphisms of inverse systems X to Y. We say that two morphisms F mi phi and F prime mu phi prime from X to Y are equivalent provided for each mu in M there is lambda in lambda which is greater or equal to phi mu phi prime mu such the following diagram Q moots or in other words, words uh, holds this equality F mu P phi mu equal to F mu prime P phi mu prime. It is shown that this relation is indeed equivalence, equivalence relation in the set in C X Y. The following facts are important. One, if we have two equivalent morphisms of systems, then their composition in the left with the third, with the second morphisms of systems G nu C are also equivalent. And the property to Y, if G nu C is equivalent to G prime new C prime. Then their composite are all As a consequence of these two, two equivalent morphisms are also equivalent. That means if G nu is equivalent G prime nu and phi mu equivalent phi prime mu, then the composition F of G nu C phi mu phi are equivalent to G prime nu C prime and phi prime mu phi prime. We now define a pro-category pro C of category C. The objects of pre pro C are all inverse systems X in C, overall directed sets lambda. This means that objects of pre pro C are the same as objects of in C. And morphisms F from X to Y in pro C is an equivalence class
of morphisms of terms that is F, bold F, is equal the equivalence class of morphisms of systems F mi phi. The composition of morphisms F and G in pro C is defined as equivalence class of composition of its representatives. This means that G composition F is a class, equivalence class of representatives of G and F mi phi of phi. The composition of morphism in pro C is as above is well defined because the property three, because the by this property three is uh, the composition save the equivalence relation. And we also define an identity morphism in pro C as, a ident as equivalence class of identity, identity morphisms of maps of systems. Thus we have obtain a pro category of category C. Now, if lambda prime is a subset of lambda and X, X lambda is an inverse system, then we say that inverse system X prime will index set lambda prime is a subsystem of X. This is a map of systems E lambda E from x to x prime defined as follows. I is the restriction of identity function in lambda prime defined as identity I lambda prime is lambda prime for every lambda prime in lambda prime. And morphisms E lambda prime are just the identity morphisms x lambda prime to x lambda prime. The morphisms E, which in pro C, which is a equivalence class of this map of system, is called the restriction morphisms, holds the following lemma. If lambda prime is cofinal subset of lambda, the, the restriction morphisms E is an isomorphism in pro C. Every system X contains an, an isomorphic in pro C subsystem over directed order at set. We shall now define a functor I from C to pro C as follows. For each object X of C, we put I X a rudimentary system which consists of single object X from pro C, rudimentary or trivial system. If F from X to Y is a morphism in C, we define E of phi, E of F from rudimentary system X to rudimentary system Y as morphisms in pro C determined by the single morphism F from X to Y. It is readily seen that E from C to pro C is indeed a covariant functor. Moreover, I is an embedding of category C in pro C because E takes di distinct objects of C into distinct objects in pro C. Distinct objects have distinct rudimentary systems. This is obvious, I mean. By lemma one, if lambda has a maximal element lambda nulla of lambda zero, then E of X lambda zero is isomorphic in pro C with C X. Inverse systems with cofinite index sets plays an important role in category pro C. We say that directed set lambda is cofinite if 
each lambda is, in lambda has a finite set of predecessors. That is for each lambda, the set lambda prime of lambda, which are less or equal set of prede predecessors of lambda is a finite. Mardashic and Kisling independently have shown that every inverse system X, X lambda, P lambda, lambda prime lambda can be replaced with an inverse system Y, Y me, Q me, me prime M with cofinite index set mu, me, which is isomorphic. This inverse system X is isomorphic in proxy with this system Y, which in which whose index system M is a cofinite directed set. Moreover, to every morphism ha in proxy from X to X prime. Is, is assign a morphism ska from y to y prime with cofinite index sets m and m prime. And now if we put f of, f of x equal to y and f of f equal to k, then we obtain a functor f from proxy to proxy. More precisely is show the following theorem. There is a covariant functor F from proxy to proxy with the following properties. For an inverse system X in C, Fx is an inverse system in C over a cofinite directed set. And second assertions, there is a natural equivalence from the identity functor I from proxy to proxy and to F. This means that this diagram is commutative in proxy. Here is the isomorphisms. And here is the morphisms ha and F of ha, which we denote with K. Now we are able to define an abstract shape category for two, for pair of categories. Let T be an arbitrary category and P at its subcategory. T expansion of an object X in T with respect to subcategory P is a morphism P from X to inverse system X in pro T, we view X as a rudimentary system X with the following universal, universal property. For an inverse size system Y, Y me Q me, me prime M in the subcategory P, which is called the P system and any morphisms ha from X to Y in pro T there exists a unique morphism f from x to y in pro t such that h can be factorized z through y. This means that this triangle is commutative. We say that p from x to x is p expansion of x if x and f are in pro t. If f and h or in T, then we have a T expansion. If they are in subcategory P, then we obtain a P expansion. Also, if P is a P expansion, we say that X is associated to inverse system X is associated to object X via P. A subcategory P are chosen, subcategory P is chosen to be, of, to consist of all, let me see, good objects of T or of good 
objects I mean that have local good local properties. Let us remark the following. If P is full subcategory of T, which means that class of objects of P is the same, the class of morphy, class of morphism, excuse me, of P from X to Y is the same, the class of morphisms from X to Y for each pair X, Y of objects in P. Then a P expansion is just a T expansion of X with X in pro P. Remark two, if P X to X and P prime X to X prime are two expansions of the same space X, then there, X, there exists an unique isomorphisms of inverse systems in pro T such that IP is equal to pi, pi P prime. We refer to I as the natural isomorphisms, but holds and converse also if I from X to X prime is an isomorphism on pro T. And if P X to X is an expansion, then composition I P from X to X prime is also as an expansion. Observe that a morphism P from X to inverse system X, X lambda, P lambda, lambda prime lambda in pro T is given by a collection of morphisms P lambda from X to X lambda for each lambda in lambda in T such that P lambda, lambda prime, P lambda prime is equal to P lambda for lambda less or equal lambda prime. Those we obtain a morphisms, we denote the morphisms P as a family of this morphisms P lambda. The following theorem gives necessary, necessary and sufficient conditions for P to be a T expansion or P expansion. Let X be inverse systems or object in, on pro T or pro P and morphisms lambda is a T expansion or P expansion if and also satisfy the following two conditions. For each P from P and each H from X to P in T, there is a lambda in lambda and F from X lambda to P in T such that F P lambda is equal H. And second property, if F and F prime are two morphisms for from X lambda to P, says that F P lambda is equal to F prime P lambda, then there is a bonding morphism P lambda lambda prime from X lambda prime to X lambda says that F P lambda lambda prime is F prime P lambda lambda prime. It follows that in definition of T expansions or P expansion, one can replace a P system or inverse system Y by a rudimentary system Y and by a single twist, uh, that means by a single object Y and still obtain the same notion of expansion. Let's see, let us see this example. Let T be the category of complete, completely regular spaces and continuous functions or maps. And let P be the full subcategory of compact Hausdorff spaces. For X in T, denote by beta X, the stone check compactification and let P from X to beta X be the natural inclusion map from X to X to its uh, big, to its uh, Czech stone compactification. 
when P is a rudimentary P expansion of X because every map H from X to P extends in unique way to beta X. That is, there is a unique morphism F, unique map F from beta X to P with H equal FP. Example two, let T be the category of compact metric spaces and homotopy classes of maps, and P the full subcategory of compact NRs. Let X be the Hawaiian airing, that is an infinite bucket of circles. Circles. I with center in points one and nulla and radius one over n. Here is shown in this figure, this bucket of circles. There is no redemptary P expansion P from X to Y. Let us explain a little this fact. Indeed, any one for any Y from P, the, there is any compact ANR has fed, finished. generated first homology group of X. And if R is greater than rank of group H1 of Y, then the obvious retraction from X to P cannot be factorized homotopically through Epsilon. There is, this means that there are not maps H1 from X to Y and H2 from Y to P such that H2H is homotopic with H. This means that property A1 fails to hold, and thus this is not XP expansion. Example three, let T be the category of compact metric spaces and continuous maps, and let P be the full subcategory of compact ANRs. In this case, there, there exists object X in T, which admit no P expansion. Let us demonstrate this for any compact metric space X, which is not locally connected. For example, for X, the Warsaw circle. I told which is a Warsaw circle in the, I don't remember which example, but I think third or fourth. Suppose, in contrary, that there exists a P expansion, P, P lambda from X to inverse system X. Let H from X to Q be an embedding of X in the Hilbert, Hilbert cube Q. We know that every compact metric space can be embedded in Hilbert cube. And here H is this embedding. Then there is a lambda nulla, uh, well, lambda zero, lambda in lambda, and the factorization of H through X greater index lambda nulla, H, where P lambda nulla is X to X lambda. This is an, is an injection because the embedding H is a injection, where, compo where composition is injection, then this map is also injection. Consequently, consequently X and Y, where, where Y is a figure of X under P lambda nulla, are homeomorphic, since X lambda is a completely regular space as a compact metric space, and epsilon is closed in X lambda nulla. By definition of completely regular spaces, there is a map 
f from x lambda nulla to seg segment nulla one such that all y sent to zero and fx is different from zero for every x from y, not in y. Clearly the constant map kx we in y defi defined by kx zero for every x in x has property that f p lambda g p lambda since g x a constant map and composition is also constant equal to zero by i e2 there is a lambda one greater such that no this compos two compositions are equal but since g is a constant map all is constant map equal to zero and those p lambda lambda nulla x lambda nulla is a subset of f inverse of nulla which is y since also have y p lambda nulla x it is a subset of p lambda zero lambda one of x lambda one we conclude that x is a homeomorphic with y or this but this is a contradiction because x is y is locally connected and x is not locally connected and thus this is shown definition two a subcategory p of the category t is called the dense in t if every object x admits a p expansion p from x to inverse system x expansion in pro p example for by example one the category p of compact house of spaces and continuous maps is dense subcategory of category t of compact regular spaces and now we are able to define the cut shape category for pair of categories tp let t be an arbitrary category and p where p is a dense subcategory dense means that every object of t admits a p expansions let p from x to x and p prime from x to x prime be two p expansions of x and q from y to y and q prime from y to y prime two p expansions of y by remark two there are natural isomorphisms in p y from x to x prime and j g from y to y prime we say that morphisms f and f prime in pro p are equivalent and denote f equivalent f prime provided the following diagram is commutative in pro p which does mean that yotf is f prime i it is readily seen that the following facts are all true holds true tilde is an equivalence relation in the set of all morphisms of pro p and proposition two if f from x to y and f prime x prime to y prime and g y to z and j prime y prime to z prime are morphisms in pro p such that f is equivalent f prime and g is equivalent to g prime then their composition are also equivalent this follows from the following commutative diagrams where e -yot -co, e -yot k are natural isomorphism in protein. If they, these two quadraterals are equal, then also this big di diagram is commutative. Proposition three, if P from X to X prime and P prime from X to X prime and Q Y to Y and Q prime from Y to Y prime are P expansions and F 
from X to Y is a morphism in pro P, then there exists a unique morphism F prime from X prime to Y prime in pro P such that F is equivalent to F prime. The morphism F prime is given by the following diagram. This F prime is the composition of inverse of I with F and from G. This means that holds this equality, equality. Definition, the shape category for pair T, P, denotes by SH of TP or simply by SH has for objects, all objects of, ta, of T. For every two objects X, Y, the morphism F from X to Y in category S house shape or shape category is called the shape morphism is defined as an equivalence class F of this morphism F by with respect to equivalence morph uh, equivalence relation defined above. Consequently, Consequently, a shape morphism F is given by a, this diagram or this, this equation. Composition of shape morphisms F and G is defined as composition of representatives F and G of grade G and grade F. By proposition and their by proposition three always can be found the representatives of F and G such that the domain of G is the same as a codomain of F so that this composition have sense. For every X in S of category shape category, the identity shape morphism is defined as an equivalence class of identity morphism in pro P. We say that X and Y are of the same shape and denote as how X as how Y if X and Y are isomorphics, isomorphic objects in category S house or shape category. Now we can define a shape functor. Let us X Y be arbitrary morphism in category T and P X X in inverse system X and Q Y to Y be P expansion of X and Y re respectively. By definition of P expansion, this there is a, here a, for this morphism F such that this triangle here is commutative by this arrow here is, equi is equal to QF and we have FP equal to QF. For the same reason, if we have another P expansion, P prime, two expansions of X prime and epsilon prime, again exists a unique F prime such that this diagram commutes. Now, by remark two, there are natural isomorphisms from X to X, X primes because X and X primes are systems associated with the same object X and J from Y to Y prime in pro P such that IP is P prime and G, J, Q, Q prime. Now we have these equalities. And this means that F prime E is equal to J F, which does means that F is equal, is uh, equivalent to F prime. So that class of F is the same the class of F prime, which we denote by F morph shape morphisms from X to Y is a shape morphism. In this manner, to every morphism F from X, Y in T, 
is associated a shape morphism F, which is defined as equivalence class of F of morphisms in prop P, for which holds QF equal FQ. Such a shape morphism F is denoted by SF, thus by definition SF is F which is equal to equivalent class of F. Now for every object X of op object of T, we put SX X, and for every morphism of T, we put SF F, great F, which is morphy equivalent class of F from of shape category, shape morphisms from FX to F epsilon. It is proven that S from T to S is a covariant functor, which is called a shape functor. And now we are ready to define a topological shape or shape category for topological spaces. Let T be the homotopy category of topological spaces whose objects are all topological spaces and whose, and whose morphisms are homotopy classes of continuous maps, or which we call shortly Ha maps. Let P be the homotopy category of polyhedra, which is full subcategory of H top, whose objects are all spaces having the homotopy type of polyhedrons, that is, of uh, simplicial complexes with CW topology. It is shown that the homotopy category of polyhedra is a dense subcategory of the homotopy category. And now, shape category S ha for this pair of categories where T is a homotopy category of topological spaces and subcategory P is a subcategory of homotopy category of polyhedra is called the shape category of topological spaces and is denoted shortly by SH. We say that topological space X and Y are of the same shape and denote SRX equal s y if they are isomorphic objects of category s ha let us recall some basic facts about shape category the shape morphism between topological spaces x and y is given by a morphism f from x to y in pro homepole where p x and x and q from y to y are homepole expansion of X and Y respectively. The shape functor S from H top to S H fixes objects, thus means S X is equal X, and induce a bijection of set of morphisms in top category from X to Pi and set of shape morphisms from X to Pi. For every for any x in H top and any p in home pole. In particular, this is true for P A and R to be A and R or P element of polyhedrons. If X and Y are of the same homotopy type, then, then they are of the same shape. But the converse don't hold because. For example, circle and Warshaw circle are of the same shape, but they are not of the same homotopy type. Maybe I have no shape of compact Hausdorff sp spaces. Here, let H from compact from category of compact Hausdorff spaces to homotopy category of compact spaces be homotopy functor which keeps objects fixed and to every map F assigns a homotopy class of that map. Then how assigns to an inverse system X, X lambda, P lambda in pro 
compact and inverse systems HX, which for bonding morphisms has homotopy classes of bonding maps P lambda lambda prime. This is uh, objects in pro H compact. And similarly to every morphism P, P lambda X to X in pro C, I think a morphism HP, which is consists of homotopy classes of morphisms P lambda. Let us recall the notion of inverse limit in arbitrary category C. An inverse limit or proactive limit of system X in pro C is an object X together with the morphism P from X to system inverse system X in pro C with the following universal property. Whenever G from Y to X is a morphism in pro C, when there exists a unique morphism G from Y to X in C, such that PG is equal to G. This means that following diagram commutes in pro C. Pro C pro top. The fact the pro compact Hausdorff space. The fact that X has an inverse limit is denoted by limit X. From the above definition follows that an inverse limit is unique up to isomorphism in C, which means that if P X and X prime and P prime from X prime to X are inverse limits, then X and X prime are isomorphic objects. The existence of inverse limit follows from this theorem. Let's see be a category with the following properties. Every family of objects, epsilon alpha has a product which is object in C and L2. Every pair of morphism FH from Y prime to Y in C has an equalizer which does mean that there exists a morphism U from Z to Y prime in C such that F composition of F with U is equal of composition of H with U. And if U prime is another morphism in C with the, with the same property, then there exists a unique morphism V such holds this equivalent. As a consequence of the Above theorems, we have the co corollary. Inverse systems have limits in the following categories. Set, category of sets and function. Ab, category of abelian groups and homomorphisms of such groups. Groups, category of group and homomorphisms. Top, category of topological spaces and continuous maps. And compact, category of compact Hausdorff spaces and continuous maps. Because all these categories have the products and equalizers for two of their morphisms of their morphisms. Theorem two, every compact house of space X is an inverse limit of an inverse systems of compact polyhedra. And theorem three is the K fact, let X be a compact system and let P X be an inverse limit. Then H P is an hot, hot, hot top expansion because V when V uh, the prime with homotopy functor V from inverse limit obtain a expansion of X. Corollary, if let X be inverse system of compact ANRs and P from X to X be an inverse limit, then HP from X to HX is an homopole expansion of X. And this was all. Thank you, you Yufalim Derit. Thank you very much for this interesting and, and technical uh, talk. And uh, I appreciate the fact that it was done in English.
<laughs> Ballin de Trump. Anglish uh, so now, like a forte mio, but... No, no, it's it's all right. Uh, so now, if you have any questions, I have one uh, short question, which is fairly general. It's about um, strong shape theory. What's the difference between shape theory and strong shape theory? I, I, I mean, in a in a in a few uh, sentences. <laughs> Categoria e forte që ndrën në atë sepse këtu kemi këto morfizmet jën për kuvizion pak ma ndryshe dhe si rjadhimi ati në kompozimeve të morfizmeve të fort, të formës, rjadhë që jënë edhe, morfiz, edhe morfizme, vetëm e morfizme, kurse këto klasa objekteve prapë mbetët e njejta, po në morfizme, kompozimi morfizmeve bëtë pak ma ndryshë, të ashtë s'ka mundësi të okay. stjela i krejta të se duhet disa, e po atë këto jënë pak ma te për Ok. Uh, at her në qofë se nuk keni ndë një pyë e tje uh, e, fa, e dhe më thonë edhe e kërkoj falje si në fillim ishte një vështirësi për, për kyqe në uh, seminar po uh, besoj që uh, e, që ndohë si zakonisht është që u adërguajnë atë uh, prezentimin e profesorit edhe mas një periud e vendosim edhe në, në Youtube kërë që shumë shumë falindet profesorit Qamil për prezentimin edhe juve tjerve për pjesë marjen edhe do të shihemi në muajnë maj me prezentimin e radhës të seminarit tonë. Kërë që falim dejtë profesor, falim dejtë gjithve. Falim dejtë edhe për jush, edhe për gërikën që patet më më dhe gjuhë. Këtë ditë pushimi në Kosovë. Falim dejtë. Miru pafshim. Miru pafshim. Miru pafshim. Miru pafshim. Miru pafshim.